Hey there everybody, back again for some more painkiller. This time um, it's going to be level 5, the Enclave. And this is the first boss fight of the game. I'm sorry about that, but yeah. First boss fight of the game. So let's see how I do. Been watching E3 all day. Some pretty good announcements out there. Sadly, there's not going to be anything, any news for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's pretty much the main game I'm concerned about. Oh yeah, this guy is going to be fun to take. Shoot a nigga in the dick. more ammo to get the rest of his health down. About to say, this boss has some pretty annoying moves right when I get him down now at half health. I've always tried to take him off from a distance, but that didn't work. As All right, never mind. Guess round two. But yeah, after you get him down to half health, he starts summoning meteor meteors and then uses this cheap ass tornado attack that literally just annihilates you instantly. I don't like anything about this boss isn't cheap. If I'm gonna struggle this much against the first boss of the game, I'm probably don't have much hope for the rest of the game. I've never struggled this much with this boss before. I don't know why I'm struggling all of a sudden. Let's just be tired from work. That's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. I need to like kill them before he can even summon the stupid tornadoes. Cause if he summons his tornadoes, I'm stupid. And he's doing the tornado. And of course it fucking kills me. 
always right when I get him close to fucking killing him. It's always good. <sighs> Fuck these people in there. <sighs> Alright. Next strategy. Try to stand as far away from him as possible once he, I get him down the halfway. close to him when he does his tornado attack. I gotta get as much distance as I can. Oh. I'll be lucky if he just keeps on doing stuff like this. Just please don't do the tornado. Please do not do that tornado. Yes. I might actually beat him. I don't know how happy I am to finally beat that guy. I actually did do a playthrough earlier of trying to beat him, but I lost my recordings for that, but I didn't beat him anyway, so I guess it really didn't matter, so... Oh. Ever wonder why there are graves in a place like this? No. Easy now. Oh, boobs. My name is Eve. Good for you. Like what do you want? I was told you're trying to hunt down Lucifer's generals and destroy his armies. Put that weapon down. I'm here to help. Help? I know a lot about these armies. I know their locations, and I know about the generals who lead them. If you're planning on destroying them all, you're gonna need my help. And I should trust you because... We don't have time for games, Daniel. You can feel I'm human. She wants to And I'm D. telling you, your map is no longer correct. Give it to me. Yeah. See, this horde has moved from here to somewhere up here. They're preparing for attack and are systematically moving into position. We don't have much time. <sighs> How do you know all this? I've been here for much longer than you can Because she's a liar. Imagine. She's using you. Don't place. trust her. I was among the first to notice the armies moving in, but obviously I couldn't stop them on my own. And that's where yeah. you come in. Rumors travel fast. They say you're quite the soldier. Yeah, I can take care of myself. Good. But before we go, you've got to know something. For starters, you're dead. You've been dead for nearly 30 years now. Uh oh. Not that time matters here. You're not in heaven, but you're not in hell either. You're here because of something in your past, and you're awaiting purification before you're allowed through the gates. The gates are real? I understand where I am. That became clear the first time I had to defend myself against a demon. What I don't understand is why I'm here. I lived a good life. I... I just don't deserve this. Well, I figured you understood where you are. Some mortals seem to have trouble grasping the notion that they're no longer alive. As for why you're here, I can't answer that. The secret must be in your past. I asked you a question. Have you ever wondered why there are graves in a place like this? Actually, no. Most mortals don't. You 
lives seem almost to expect them. We're in a world where mortal souls await purification. You can't die here. You're already dead. The body you're in right now is just holding your soul. However, while you wait, your soul can be taken by a demon and sent to hell. If you fall to a demon, you will go to hell. Likewise, oh. once your time has come, an angel can release your soul and allow you entrance to heaven. I've seen many fall to a demon. The flames are a pretty good indication of where they're going. As the midway point between heaven and hell, Lucifer realized the strategic importance of this world quite some time ago, and has since created a means for his troops to enter undetected. We're not sure how he's doing it, but we know it's a slow process. It takes a considerable amount of time for each soldier to form. And this is why it's taken so long for Lucifer to amass an army large enough to attack. There aren't any bodies buried here. They use graves like these as their primary entrance into this world. However, it's not clear which graves are actually used. We've tried to find and destroy all of these entrances, but we haven't been successful yet. Anyway, you've got a lot to do in the clock. Never trust ticking. a girl with no shirt on. I'm gonna see if I can find out some more information about the other generals. I'll meet up with you later. Good luck. I think that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and leave comments on any suggestions on stuff, other stuff you would like to see. Bye.